Bam, I greet you in the words of Assalamu alaikum. With me, peace and blessings be upon you. And I mention both Jesus and Muhammad's names. And uh, looking at the Underground Railroad, we come on every Saturday night at 1030. But all of these guests that you see, you can see them on my YouTube page. <laughs> okay? Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And I'm going to make, well, this is going to be a three part series. Of shows, so I'm going to have them introduce themselves. I have Dr. Lee Warren, and I have Red Ross, and I have David Koss from out of California, and I'm going to have them introduce themselves because they have platforms too, so they'll be able to give you information on how to um, get to their platforms because they share, and I believe in sharing. I believe in having symbiotic relationships not parasitical relationships. <laughs> Go ahead, Dr. Lee Warren. <laughs> well, I'm Dr. Lee Warren. I'm produ producer of the Plum television show. That's the Power Lady the Man television show. It comes on every Wednesday from 8.30 to 9.30 on Channel 36, reach on, reach on Thursday uh, from 10.30 to 11.30 on, on Thursday on Channel 36. And to contact us or to see our website, it's plenty of tons of information, mm -hmm. geopolitical, spiritual, financial, just the whole ball of wax. That's PLIM, that's P-L-I-M, the number two, dot org. So that's PLIM, P-L-I-M, the number two, dot O-R-G. And you can always contact us on the phone by 773-509-8124. Again, that's 773-509-8124. And Brother Ray Ross, everybody knows you, but they know everybody knows Dr. Lee Warren, but go ahead, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Dr. Dr. Lee Ross, and Lincoln Wassalam, Rockman, too, a lot, pick, I too. Uh, in the words of the Creator, peace and blessings upon you, us all, and may we stay favored by the Creator. I do things in the street as an activist, as, a, as under the guidance of being media director and broadcaster, crossing the lines with the uh, communications, dealing with the youth, the at-risk youth, the ones that's supposed to be so bad, unquote, unquote, that nobody wants to deal with. I deal with them all because I came from the same cloth that they came from and was favored by the Creator to have a change in my life and recognize the change. Sharing is caring. I share with the youth, I share with the elders. I had dealing with a radio station called Truth HD. It's in the memory of Harold Davis, but the Truth HD is the high definition. And the name of the show was The Big Payback. We're on YouTube on Tuesday from 4 to 5 and on Thursday from 3 to 5. And we're also on on Sunday, but it's called Pleasant Encounters in Hammond, Indiana, uh, 102.3 FM. It's Miss Geraldine Smith's show, but it's called Pleasant Encounters. I'm also on KNTV most of the, the all different times with Mr. Bradley, which is a brother of mine, close family member as far as the nation, mm -hmm. as far as our spiritual guidance from the, from the Creator. And the most other part is uh, Marky's World. I don't know if anybody knows this on Can TV too, but they see, their show is something like Cliffs, but the Underground Railroad, Railroad can't be duplicated or implicated because it's, it's one of a kind. Oh, Y'all shows are one of a kind. Okay, y'all shows, not mine. I'm humble myself. See, y'all got millions of followers. I may have a handful of followers, but I got what Allah wants me to have. And that's sufficient. And I got David Koss. I'm going to take it off. <laughs> I got David Koss from out of California. He is an individual that I do a podcast with. He's my partner in crime. But we don't commit no crimes to the government out there that's listening. <laughs> Go ahead, David. Make an introduction and tell them where your YouTube thing is. Okay. Um, all the audience out there can find my YouTube page at www.youtube.com slash C, as in Charlie, slash David L. Koss. That's K-A-A-S. I uh, am running for the presidency uh, in the next two years, and my platform will be to abolish all pagan holidays, including birthdays, than to reinstate the seven mosaic feast days. And uh, thank you, Clifton. Okay. And you know what? 
I want to get on down with it because I know the people are looking. They want us to get to the point. And people on YouTube, you want us to get on to the point. Facebook, YouTube, all you social media platforms. And I'd like to ask you first, Dr. Lee Warren, what is going on with the economy? Why? Why is the dollar devalued? Why? Why is it? What's going on? You know, I, I I mean, I just went to the store and spent $34 and guess got a half a bag of groceries. What's going on? Well, that's basically the fact that most people don't understand the f financial system of right. how it was constructed and who benefits from it. Yeah. Most people don't even know what the Federal Reserve is. Mm -hmm. in, in, in other words, the Federal Reserve mm -hmm. Bank is one that orchestrates the economy. Mm -hmm. You don't have a U.S. note. If you look out your, you pull out the dollar bill, you pull out any type of paper currency that you have in your paper money, you'll find out it says Federal Reserve note. So that's a private bank in the interest of the banks. Mm -hmm. And they print up money. And the money currently, the system that we have, is called a fiat system. What they mean by fiat, that's a, a technical term for economy. I got a degree in that stuff. It don't mean anything. Yeah, I don't know. Fiat, but a, a fiat, <laughs> F-A-I-T, it means by the decree of the government. It's, it's not backed by any gold or silver or anything, but by the federal government or by the Congress making it a law that you can pay your taxes and all public debt can be paid. That's what it says on, on the note mm -hmm. that you can pay. It's a note that you can pay for that. Now, the problem is that, 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 that the country has never had a balanced budget yeah, right, and they've right, been printing what right. if they don't have a balanced budget just like you what they do they print up money the federal reserve print up money when they want a war they print up money mm -hmm. and the money has become so devalued just like anything else if you got whiskey you got a hundred uh a uh, hundred proof and you start adding water to it at some point it becomes what worthless, worthless well yeah. that's what's happened it's 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 not that the prices are going up it's the price of the currency of the dollar is falling Mm -hmm. And on, on an international basis, uh, both Russia and uh, China have refused, and a lot of other countries have begun to use the other currencies. So the dollar it. is not being used. So basically, it's a devaluation of the dollar that's taking place in the whole world. Gotcha. Gotcha. And Red Ro Brother Red Ross, what is going on? You got people that are living actually living off their credit cards. <laughs> I know that sounds strange. They're living off their credit cards. Mm -hmm. Don't they understand one day they, the party is on? What, what, what's going on? <laughs> it's like the doc said. You don't understand the value of the system, and the fiat changes the whole thing around. But can I ask y'all something? So y'all using these big words on me, fiat. Now, what yeah. does fiat mean? Y'all use it. It means, a, a, all it means is a currency, a paper currency that's been authorized by the federal government. No, okay. It's not backed by gold or silver. In other words, you can't take a, a one ounce gold or silver coin somewhere and use it as currency. You can okay. only use the paper dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, Rich. Yeah, well, it's, the value is deflated, and that's why Russia put the World Bank out. See, you talk about a lot of things, but they don't realize a lot of things, just as they don't know that there's more Muslims in Ukraine and Russia yeah. than what you think. This fight is not what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a magic show again. Mm -hmm. Now you see it, now you don't. Slight of the hand. So it's the same thing with this paper. They're making less valued items and to pay more for it. You <laughs> used to get three orange slices in a bag. Now you get one and it's the same price, maybe double. That's right. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and David from out of California, man, my Lord, I don't know what y'all economy looks like because you know <laughs> what? We in different regions. But what is going on with the economy, man? I mean, why are they putting less food in the bags, <laughs> charging the same amount of money, and people living off credit cards? T talk to me, man. <laughs> well, it, it, it comes down to the FEMA camps. We've got FEMA camps in every state. They're all on the railroad tracks outside of town, and they're all equipped and ready to take borders. Now, what is this for? This is for a, a lockdown and a uh, uh, prison sentence for most. Uh, you know, we, we spend $81 billion per year to keep our inmates housed, clothed, fed, and guarded. Mm -hmm. We also owe $33 trillion to the IMF banking system over in Europe. Mm -hmm. So before we can ever get our 
our acts together and consider, you know, what's been going wrong to get our economics back in place so we can at least eat and drink clean water. We're going to have to uh, uh, get our heads out of the the uh, muck, the mire that been put upon us by all these experts and and uh, politicians and even presidents have told us a bunch of malarkey. Uh, Joe Biden just the other day said we had zero percent inflation. Mm-hmm. Which, the newscasters know that it's been eight and a half percent this last month. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not listening to anybody tell me anything. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. And you know what, Dr. Lee Warren, man, this is fascinating. Y'all know that. But Dr. Lee Warren, what is going on, man? There's so many foreclosures. There are people that are losing their homes and automobiles that are just being repossessed. I don't understand what's going on. Well, don't they check these people out before they take loans? Well, the people don't understand. You are not. You don't have the wartime economy. You know, when we came out of World War II, okay. the United States was the big UNO. They dictated the world policy, or, mm-hmm. or, or what you call geopolitics. Mm-hmm. I mean, hege- hegemony means a big word. Hegemony mm-hmm. means they had world dominancy. Mm-hmm. And whatever the U.S. said went. And it, has, and it has been going on for the last 75, 77 years since World War II. But then recently, in the last 20 years, you had two arrivals to have, to have come from the East, Russia and China. See. see, and they oppose the system. Now, what you have here to answer your question here is that the problem is, is that the United States doesn't have the power anymore. In other words, now what they did in addition after World War II they sh- uh, and we came back to the, and prospered mm-hmm. during the six seventies and eighties. We shipped most of the manufacturing jobs abroad. Mm. All the jobs factories closed here in the U.S. and they went into Asia because because the powers to be quote that, uh, that 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 run this thing owned us our masters. Mm-hmm. See, decided that there would be cheap labor like they bought us here. Mm-hmm. So Asia was the cheap labor. And they gave them the technology and everything to compete mm-hmm. to basically undermine this system. And eventually they have come to par with it. Mm-hmm. So now you don't have any jobs. Mm-hmm. Now you come back to your question here is that you, don't, you have very few jobs here that are living, living wa- livable wages. Yeah. People yeah. use credit cards, people that work in two or three jobs because you don't have those, those factory jobs that you had that the blacks had when they came up south mm-hmm. to for Ford. They had, they're going to buy homes, they send their kids to college. Well, them jobs are gone. Mm-hmm. The kids today have, they have, it's an impossibility yeah. for them to have what their parents have mm-hmm. because the United States is not that power manufacturing, but all that's in Asia. Mm-hmm. And Red Ross, you know, I like to pose that same question. What, what, what is your um, analysis of tons of people are losing their homes? Mm-hmm. Tons. People, there are people that had cardinals that were $900. Mm-hmm. So these were subprime loans. Mm-hmm. Subprime loans for people that don't know is they give people loans that credit is not really trustworthy. What is going on in the mm-hmm. USA? Another shell game. <laughs> Where you you moving the cup, but the pee not under there. So it's it's different fashions of it, and the way Dr. Warren is explaining it, it's all directly to the understanding of what's going on in the economy and the people. The fiber of the family has been broken, so right. you have to re, re you have to reinsert yourself to rethink about what Trump was doing when he said taking back America. Don't look at him with the cross eye; look at him with the straight eye. He has he, his form or the way he came. He told you he wasn't a politician. We understood that. So they make a move to do something else to talk about January 6th. You make keep, America great again? Oh, yes. go ahead. Yeah, but yeah, but at a, at a different turn. Uh-huh. See, it ain't no, it, it's not w- what you wanted or how you wanted. That's what the creator does. The creator gives you what you need, not what you want. Everybody in this building go to the store and buy what they want. Yeah. And when they get home, the first thing they say is, I didn't need that. They may have had two already mm-hmm. or just bought too many. Yeah. You a balance. That's why you got a left and a right hand. If it wasn't, you had two right hands or two left hands. Mm-hmm. So the, the balance is opposite. I'm going to get to Donald Trump last. I'd like to ask you the same thing, David. What is going on, man? I mean, people losing their homes. And see, I want people to know I'm trying to get 
different opinions and different perspectives. And you know what? I'm going to start doing more panel discussions anyway. Yes, sir. You know. But go ahead, David. Well, uh, the size of the problem is always uh, a concern to anybody that wants to fix it. And uh, as I was saying before, we have a big problem with our prison system in this country. We also have a big problem with 33 trillion we owe the IMF. But the biggest problem that I see is the passing of the Nemesis Nibiru star system in uh, mm, year mm, two. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on for me. We're talking about the homeless. The homeless people losing their homes. Okay. Okay. And um, um, repossessions. Everybody's going to be losing it mm -hmm. because everybody's going to lose their jobs. And when you lose your job, you can't pay for your car, your home, your family, anything. Mm -hmm. So everybody's going to be in the same boat here shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like a year or two ago, Clifton, we were, we were kind of chuckling and laughing about how things supposedly could get worse. Yeah. Now they are. And they're going to get a lot more worse real soon. But the housing, our housing market is collapsed. It's, it's, it's kaput. There, nobody's buying houses anymore. You get you know? good enough credit. <laughs> no, but that, that you say you can't establish credit if you can't get a job. Mm. So how can, if you can't get a job, how can you get any credit? So the, the problems that you are citing with the foreign manufacturing of computer parts, automobiles, everything, it's been planned out for the last 30, 40 years that by the one, big money this. people. They, they shipped it all out of here. Mm. They made us a service industry over here. And now mm. that's being taken away with the COVID-19. Uh, we, we don't even want to talk about that. Mm. Yeah. Because you know that's what? why. I'm going to tell you all why. I don't want to talk about this. The reason I don't want to talk about this is because you two, they censor people when they talk about this particular, that's right. this yeah. particular subject matter. Yes, sir. And you know what? I'm going to probably edit that out yes, because sir. they will put you on lockdown. Yes, sir. Right. That's so, right. you know, got to protect the platform. That's okay. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. But thank you, Dave. Thank you. But, uh, yes, sir. Okay. And I want to ask you, Dr. L I'm going to pose this question to all three of you. I want to ask you something. The homeless rate, when you, when you drive in Chicago, California, there are 10 cities that are set up. And I would like to ask you, at some point, they're going to come to a conclusion. Damn, what do we do with all these people? What are going to happen to these people whose homes have been foreclosed on and they're jamming up the city in downtown living in tent cities? <laughs> Dr. Ward. Well... The problem is that you don't, it, it comes back to what we essentially said, the economy is shot. And in California, the, the, the cost of living is, is, is very absorbent. Mm -hmm. You know, rent, rent is running between two and $3,000 for, for, for the average two you know, mm -hmm. apartment, you know, especially a two or three mm -hmm. bedroom. Mm -hmm. that, that's beyond the, the average individual working a livable wage to pay three grand a month mm -hmm. or two grand a month. So they either doubling up or tripling up. If they can't double and triple up, or there's only one option left, a couple options left. They got two options. First option, grandma home was paid for. Mm -hmm. See, they all go crash back to that. So you may have eight, you know, 12 people living in the house all together, sleeping on pallets and stuff. Or then you go to or, or the option of what you're talking about is homeless. Yeah. See, that's it. Mm -hmm. See, they, have, they, have, they don't have a... a, a, a you know, a, a net to catch. Because if grandma or aunt has a house, there's, there's got to be somebody in the family if they've been working and had a halfway functional family, somebody got a house that's paid for. Yeah. And that house that's paid for, well, we're all going to chip in and pay utility bills and everything and try to get ourselves straight and live there. That's what they did in the Depression. Mm -hmm. John Johnson and on Ebony, he, that's what, that's, he had to sleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so that we get back to that point because the economy is totally destroyed. There's no jobs. And then on top of that, they're starting a the damn war over there with Russia. We're going to get to that. Yeah. And only to ask you, um, pose the same question to you, Red Ross. You know, the same question to you too, David, is the thing is there are 
people that are living in tent cities in California, Chicago, all over the United States That's of right. America. And those numbers are not decreasing, it's increasing. What is the society going to do with these people living in tent city and they live in downtown California, New York, Chicago? What are they going to do with them? In this can of mixed nuts that you're talking about with this questioning, mm -hmm. see, in this can of mixed nuts, everybody's not a macadamia. There's some beer nuts in here, some <laughs> cheap ones. That's right. You got the American people and the United States being pushed to a brink. That's right. Yeah. Let's don't play with the gas prices while they're trying to push you to electric. Let's pay attention to what's going, really going on. When you talk about homeless, you're talking about an unsurfaced, unsurfaced, beyond Star Trek, where man has never gone. You got six different groups in the in a home now. You got Granny sixty. That's right. You got a you got a uh, 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 another Granny or the children's mother that's forty. You got the children's daughter. 30. That's right. You got the children in the home. You got six different generations that you're dealing with and you wonder about what's going on with the crime and different things. You got six different families that's being pushed together like what he's Dr. Warren is saying that came from the kitchen at the apartment. But what you don't know is about the homeless. Candor Enterprises with Michael Sadiq and uh, Ricky and Jumar. These are guys that's doing the re, the, uh, re entry programs. They're going into the county jail and talking to the youth and nobody's talking about it because they don't know about it. I'm privy to certain knowledge and wisdom to give you since you mentioned homeless. There's 65 homeless percent of the children that's locked up in the juvenile facility that have nowhere to go. I didn't know that. <laughs> Dr. And when you let them out, okay. where can they go and, but back to where they came from? That's right, yeah. street. Uh, I'd like to ask, ask you, pose the same question to you, David, out in California. I would like to ask you, brother, there, there are plenty of tent cities in California, New York, Chicago. I would like to ask you, David, what are they, go what are they going to do to the people that are living in the tent cities once we overwhelm? What are, you, what, what are they going to do to them? Well, for, first of all, the people that are living in those tent cities, they're really depressed. There are a lot of uh, uh, drugs, heroin, uh, morphine, cocaine, mm -hmm. but I mean, just everything is out there. The alcohol is is, is killing them off, and the cigarettes. But mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's their own abuse of their bodies and their systems that are going to, you know, kill them. And that that's what the authorities know. So they're just kind of letting them be wherever they exist at, and. Uh, just uh, yesterday, we had a, a freeway fire on the freeway uh, out here. And it was a big homeless encampment and all went up and fought flames of the whole, mm -hmm. whole thing. So, I mean, they're just allowing this because the problem with the homeless out here is 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 multinational, can we say? And uh, it's also uh, from all the states in the union, they send out their homeless on Greyhound buses every fall. So we, we get them out here from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So. Seems like we, it's a technical problem. And you know what? Let me see a cup get called back. But you know what I'd like to ask both of you, all three of y'all. When we look at, first of all, according to the news, Donald Trump had classified information when his, his home was not raided. I'm talking about where I was. Just, they went in to get information in his boxes, and they found out he had classified information. Donald Trump on this date, um, the 12th of August. But I'd like to ask you, Barley, do you think that the country is better off with Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Well, that's an obvious question. He, uh, if you're going to look at the question just from a uh, uh, just from a natural standpoint, just from a natural standpoint. Biden can go down, can't go down to, to, to tomorrow and get a job at Walmart. Because when he walks in there and they mm -hmm. find out he's demented, mm -hmm. they tell Pops, you know what? Your best days is old. You go home. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you too. We ain't, we ain't gonna even argue with that. Now, now, for, now, that shows you the power. What people don't realize, that shows you the power of the people that run this thing. 
Yeah. Our masses to put in a demented president. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> you can put a monkey in here and all we do. What the hell's going on? You know you can't put a. De- he couldn't fly a plane. He can't get. What job can he apply for? You know, decent that he can't apply for that job. So the question is obviously that, that Trump would win hands down. Mm. And the program he has, he's talking about bringing jobs back. And that's one of the problems we have is mm-hmm. that there's no jobs here. Mm-hmm. Livable wages, jobs. We're not talking about Mickey D jobs. And we're not talking about service jobs. We're talking about jobs, uh, livable wage jobs you need today. Beautiful. You mean between forty and $50,000. You got to be and in the city of Chicago to live comfortably middle class. You need between fifty dollars and $60,000. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I like to ask you, Brother Red Ross, you know what? Is the country better off with Joe Biden? I Donald Trump. I hope well, there's an election coming up. I you. hope the people are listening to your show and looking with uh, an ear of attention because what Dr. Warren said is so exclusive to understanding what this what this dogmatic situation is. A man that turns to shake a hand and, a, and it's a ghost standing there. And I'm making a statement about they can't outnumber us, which they don't understand. And this come from 1867. Right. Dr. Warren know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. It was two slaves to every one human being in Virginia. Sure. But now I'm going to say something else about Dr. David that's on the show. His problems is him mentioning the FEMA camps. That's why the communication went bad for him because it's strings. But it's OK. Because you got some diabolical people here that would understand what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. But I would rather for them to understand what your show is about, the, the literacy of understanding what functional literacy is. And Dr. Warren puts it in such a pleasant situation. And, you know, uh, he's 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 getting more with honey than he would a gun. So it just to, just to have your common sense, just to be able to see just a little bit. The reason that the, we that our culture cannot protect the women and children in our community is because okay. they're not at attention. OK, you know what, Brother David, please one minute, because you know what? Do you think that the country is better off with Donald Trump, better, better off for Joe Biden, uh, uh, Donald Trump? We running a long time, but we're going to do another show. No, it is not better at it. <laughs> uh, the whole thing's a scam. The Diebold the Dominion machines have been selecting their leaders for the last 30 years, yeah. and the vote count hasn't been counted. So that's what's really going on. Okay. So you know what? I want to tell everybody. You know what? These three shows, you need to listen. You need to listen to Dr. Lee Warren, Red Ross, B and David, and go to their, you need to go to their platforms. And I guess I got a minute left, so I guess I can have a minute since this is my show. Yes. But guess I can't have a minute. So I'm like, 